Dole. The Dole, Kuon Alpinus, is a canid native to Central, South, East, and Southeast Asia. Other English names for the species include Asian Wild Dog, Asiatic Wild Dog, Indian Wild Dog, Whistling Dog, Red Dog, and Mountain Wolf. It is genetically close to species within the genus Canis, but distinct in several anatomical aspects. Its skull is convex rather than concave in profile, it lacks a third lower molar and the upper molars sport only a single cusp as opposed to between two and four. During the Pleistocene, the dole ranged throughout Asia, Europe, and North America but became restricted to its historical range 12,000 to 18,000 years ago. The dole is a highly social animal, living in large clans without rigid dominance hierarchies and containing multiple breeding females. Such clans usually consist of about 12 individuals, but groups of over 40 are known. It is a diurnal pack hunter which preferentially targets medium and large-sized ungulates. In tropical forests, the dole competes with tiger and leopard, targeting somewhat different prey species, but still with substantial dietary overlap. It is listed as endangered by the IUCN as populations are decreasing and are estimated at fewer than 2,500 adults. Factors contributing to this decline include habitat loss, loss of prey, competition with other species, persecution due to livestock predation and disease transfer from domestic dogs. Characteristics in appearance, the dole has been variously described as combining the physical characteristics of the grey wolf and the red fox, and as being cat-like on account of its long backbone and slender limbs. It has a wide and massive skull with a well-developed sagittal crest, and its masseter muscles are highly developed compared to other canid species, giving the face an almost hyena-like appearance. The rostrum is shorter than that of domestic dogs and most other canids. The species has six rather than seven lower molars. The upper molars are weak, being one-third to one-half the size of those of wolves and have only one cusp as opposed to between two and four, as is usual in canids, an adaptation thought to improve shearing ability, thus allowing it to compete more successfully with kleptoparasites. Adult females can weigh from 10 to 17 kilograms, while the slightly larger male may weigh from 15 to 21 kg. The mean weight of adults from three small samples was 15.1 kg. Occasionally, dolls may be sympatric with the Indian wolf, Canis lupus palapes, which is one of the smallest races of the grey wolf, but is still approximately 25% heavier on average. It stands 430 to 560 meters at the shoulder and measures 0.91 meters in body length. Its ears are somewhat rounded, but less so than the African wild dog. The general tone of the fur is reddish, with the brightest hues occurring in winter. In the winter coat, the back is clothed in a saturated rusty red to reddish color with brownish highlights along the top of the head, neck and shoulders. The throat, chest, flanks, and belly and the upper parts of the limbs are less brightly colored, and are more yellowish in tone. The lower parts of the limbs are whitish, with dark brownish bands on the anterior sides of the forelimbs. The muzzle and forehead are grayish reddish. The tail is very luxuriant and fluffy, and is mainly of a reddish ochreous color, with a dark brown tip. The summer coat is shorter, coarser, and darker. The dorsal and lateral guard hairs in adults measure 20 to 30 millimeters in length. Dolls in the Moscow Zoo molt once a year from March to May. Dolls produce whistles resembling the calls of red foxes. How this sound is produced is unknown, though it is thought to help in coordinating the pack when traveling through thick brush. Other sounds include whines, food soliciting, growls, warning, screams, chatterings, both of which are alarm calls, and yapping cries. In contrast to wolves, dolls do not howl or bark. Dolls have a complex body language. Friendly or submissive greetings are accompanied by horizontal lip retraction and the lowering of the tail, as well as licking. Playful dolls open their mouths with their lips retracted and their tails held in a vertical position whilst assuming a play bow. Aggressive or threatening dolls pucker their lips forward in a snarl and raise the hairs on their backs, as well as keep their tails horizontal or vertical. When afraid, they pull their lips back horizontally with their tails tucked and their ears flat against the skull. Ecology and behavior. Dolls are more social than gray wolves, and have less of a dominance hierarchy, as seasonal scarcity of food is not a serious concern for them. In this manner, they closely resemble African wild dogs in social structure. They live in clans rather than packs, as the latter term refers to a group of animals that always hunt together. 
In contrast, doll clans frequently break into small packs of three to five animals, particularly during the spring season, as this is the optimal number for catching fawns. Dominant dolls are hard to identify, as they do not engage in dominance displays as wolves do, though other clan members will show submissive behavior toward them. Intragroup fighting is rarely observed. Dolls are far less territorial than wolves, with pups from one clan often joining another without trouble once they mature sexually. Clans typically number 5 to 12 individuals in India, though clans of 40 have been reported. In Thailand, clans rarely exceed three individuals. Before embarking on a hunt, clans go through elaborate pre-hunt social rituals involving nuzzling, body rubbing and homo and heterosexual mounting. Dolls are primarily diurnal hunters, hunting in the early hours of the morning. They rarely hunt nocturnally, except on moonlit nights, indicating they greatly rely on sight when hunting. Although not as fast as jackals and foxes, they can chase their prey for many hours. During a pursuit, one or more dolls may take over chasing their prey, while the rest of the pack keeps up at a steadier pace behind, taking over once the other group tires. Most chases are short, lasting only 500 meters. When chasing fleet-footed prey, they run at a pace of 30 miles per hour. Dolls frequently drive their prey into water bodies, where the targeted animal's movements are hindered. In some areas, dolls are sympatric to tigers and leopards. Competition between these species is mostly avoided through differences in prey selection, although there is still substantial dietary overlap. Along with leopards, dolls typically target animals in the 30 to 175 kg range, mean weights of 35.3 kg for doll and 23.4 kg for leopard, while tigers selected for prey animals heavier than 176 kg, but their mean prey weight was 65.5 kg. Also, other characteristics of the prey, such as sex, arboreality and aggressiveness, may play a role in prey selection. For example, dolls preferentially select male cheetle, whereas leopards kill both sexes more evenly, and tigers prefer larger prey altogether. Dolls and tigers kill langurs rarely compared to leopards due to the leopard's greater arboreality, while leopards kill wild boar infrequently due to the inability of this relatively light predator to tackle aggressive prey of comparable weight. On some occasions, dolls may attack tigers. When confronted by dolls, tigers will seek refuge in trees or stand with their backs to a tree or bush, where they may be mobbed for lengthy periods before finally attempting escape. Escaping tigers are usually killed, while tigers which stand their ground have a greater chance of survival. Tigers are dangerous opponents for dolls, as they have sufficient strength to kill a doll with a single paw strike. Doll packs may steal leopard kills, while leopards may kill dolls if they encounter them singly or in pairs. Since leopards are smaller than tigers and are more likely to hunt dolls, doll packs tend to react more aggressively toward them than they do towards tigers. There are numerous records of leopards being trained by dolls. Dolls sometimes drive tigers, leopards, snow leopards and bears from their kills. Dolls were once thought to be a major factor in reducing Asiatic cheetah populations, though this is doubtful, as cheetahs live in open areas as opposed to forested areas favored by dolls. Doll packs occasionally attack Asiatic black bears, snow leopards, and sloth bears. When attacking bears, dolls will attempt to prevent them from seeking refuge in caves and lacerate their hindquarters. Thanks for watching.